Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today we are going to have a very important and essential discussion on Indian Space Research Organization Technical Assistant Post. Now this is a very highly requested topic, so I finally have to make a video on it, on your high amount of requests. So, first thing you need to know that it is not a central recruitment, it is not like ICRB that it is going to be organized centrally for all the centers. No, every center will be organizing its own technical assistant recruitment, but the pattern and the levels of the examination or the selection will remain the same. LPSC will be organizing its own, VSSC will be organizing its own, IPRC, SHAR, SSC, there will be separate recruitments. Every center will be giving somewhere around 4 to 5 seats from every stream. and. Uh, I'm basically going to discuss what are the levels of selection over here but first thing you need to know before you even continue with this video is that the eligibility criteria a person needs to have a degree in diploma the person might or the aspirant might be having a BTEC degree but diploma degree is absolutely necessary this examination or this entrance is basically on the basis of your diploma only it is not on the basis of btec that means that if you even if you are not having any btec degree just on the basis of your diploma you can apply for this post and get selected okay and isro does take care of your further studies so even if you are just having diploma degree you can continue your btec while you are working over there as a technical assistant so let's come down to the rounds round zero which we would like to call this ISRO always has that your CGPA matters. If your CGPA is not good enough, you will not be called for written test. And over here, just like the pattern, just like the syllabus, just like the kind of questions asked will differ from center to center and also from year to year. And I've seen it going as high as 87% right so this is the first level of rejection that your percentage of your diploma should be good after that you will be called for a written test and written test you need to go through the previous year questions and i will put all the possible links that i can in the description box so that you can go through it and understand the pattern of question uh, basically what i can say is that it also differs from center to center and because VSSC, let's say VSSC, it is a very good center. So definitely competition will increase for that and it will become much more difficult. Okay. Now, also, if one particular center is specializing in a particular area of technology, then they will be asking more questions from there. Basically, if you're talking about URSC, then they will be asking few questions from satellites and they will be focusing their paper in that direction. If you're talking about IPRC, they will be going to hardcore strength of material and material science and things like that. So it depends from center to center what kind of question they are going to ask. The best way is go online and get all the previous year question of the center for which you are going to appear. That is the best way to get some idea. Some of the general things that I can say for mechanical engineering of any diploma of any center, if you're eligible, you need to know that yes, your three years diploma, you should be very solid with that. Be very good with the syllabus. A few questions will be asked from there, but also, if you have done BTEC or maybe if you are not done BTEC, still you need to be thorough with some basics of BTEC subjects. Like for example, what we study for gate examination. From my experience, what I have seen so far, people who crack technical assistant post generally have a BTEC degree. This is a very common thing because people after doing BTEC, if, if they have already gotten a degree in diploma before BTEC, they will still be trying for examination with their diploma degree right and nobody can stop them so they are they have studied more and because of less number of seats competition will be very high and if some question comes from a level little higher than your diploma then those people who have already done btec will be able to answer and you will be out of the competition if you have not done btec or even if you have done btec if you're not thorough with that if you're not thorough with your btec syllabus you will be at a, at a disadvantage, right? So what you need to do is just the basics. I'm not telling you to go and study columns from Stendhal material, but just the basics. You should know what is principal stress. You should just maybe go through the first 10 to 15 lectures of my free lectures on an academy. You can go through it so that you get the basics of Stendhal material, basics of fluid mechanics, basics of thermodynamics, because I have gone through the previous year questions of technical assistant post. And trust me, it is not much different from ICRB examination which gives the selection for a scientist post right and also you should be going through the previous year papers of ICRB because 
the easier questions of icrb can easily come into the technical assistant written test so that is my suggestion so if you are preparing for written test you should go through first of all technical assist assistant previous year questions of the center that you are appearing for then the icrb questions you should definitely be thorough with the three years of your diploma and then the basics of your mechanical engineering or any field of engineering that you're appearing for your stream of the btech syllabus at least a little bit towards gate examination if you can prepare you will definitely be in advantage and maybe you do not know the importance of written test let me elaborate a little bit more yes there will be first selection based on your cgpa second based on your written test third is skill test but a lot of people do not know skill test is only a qualifying test unlike what we are having in icrb in icrb or written test is just qualifying it does not matter that we are rank one in written test or rank 1300 in written test if we are qualifying that's all that matters but over here the written test is not qualifying it is finally the deciding factor the skill test is qualifying you have to get 60 percent in skill test first the written test will be happening uh, if you are uh, if you're called based on your written test then you have to qualify the skill test even if you're getting rank two in written test and if you do not qualify the skill test you'll not get the job but the final let's say that ranking is there rank one two three four five six seven eight nine ten people based on your written test and out of that rank three and rank seven could not qualify the skill test then the ranking will be made after removing those two ranks and the remaining will get selection if there's let's say eight seats am i clear so skill test is qualifying and written test is going to finally uh, give you the ranking and if there are six seats then top six ranks will be getting the job i hope that i'm super clear if it is not clear comment it down below in the comment section right so let us come a little bit to skill test even though it is just qualifying you have to qualify it right you have to get 60 percent marks in that so basically it is uh, going to give you one experiment like the experiments lab experiments that we used to do now in your, in our btech i'm talking about btech i do not know what happens in lab in diplomas but it i hope that it is similar only i think the hardness test and all that you do in diploma also because they are going to ask that in your skill test right but i have done btech and people who did diploma and are working as technical assistant in isro told me uh, that uh, these are the kind of experiments that they ask in skill test basically one experiment it will go for two hours and uh, you will be just based on that whether you passed or not right so how to prepare basically you can uh, look at the lab manuals of the top universities like if it is down south then you can go for anna university lab manuals you can find all of them online i'll try to put link down in the description box so you go through it all the experiments you go through it because one of them just might come for you and just like everything else the skill test also varies from center to center although it does not vary from year to year now skill test is dependent high, highly on the kind of work going on in that center so for example in vssc they might even ask you engineering drawing it is not a lab exper uh, experiment but they might ask you to do engineering drawing because that might be their application if you go for iprc they might ask you to do this hardness test and all that or tensile test things like that if you go to shar it might be different so it varies from center to center i'll try to get more information for you in further videos but this is as much information that i can provide so i think i've made everything clear the levels of examination the pattern of examination and uh, if you ask for the pattern of the written test it again varies from year to year and from center to center what i have seen in bssc it gives uh, 80 questions in 120 minutes but it varies and there's plus four and minus one that you will that information you will get from going through previous year questions obviously i'll put some link down in the description box you can get previous year questions from there there are a lot of website that is offering you these uh, previous year papers so thanks to them and that's about it for this video i hope that i was super clear and if you have any more questions comment it down below if you have any more suggestions for videos comment it down below i talked to few of the technical assistants that are working right now at isro so they help me a lot thanks to them unfortunately they do not want me to mention their name or else i would have but i'll try to find more 
who are ready to mention their names or even are ready to support you further so that's about it i'll see all of you in the next one my second youtube channel ashish ranjan is 100 percent on personality development which is also going to be very important for you to get selection in any job right so the link will be again down in the description box i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye